Mizuno has made significant advancements with its metals, both in performance and fitting capabilities. Today, if you have a Mizuno metal in your bag, whether that's a driver or a fairy wood, we've got a bunch of information in this video to help you out and play better golf. At second swing, we believe everyone should be playing clubs fit for their swing, but it can be so tough out there with all the options. Mizuno's made it a lot easier for our fitters with the quick switch hosel, which allows for eight independent loft and lie settings to help you play better. So here are some things to look for when making adjustments to your Mizuno driver or fairway wood. With the quick switch hosel, you have over four degrees of adjustability. The lower setting drops the loft by an estimated 2.25 degrees, while the higher setting increases the loft by about 2.25 degrees. Decreasing the loft will open the face angle. There are three settings that decrease loft. The lower setting opens the face angle by three degrees, while the other two settings that only decrease loft by roughly one degree will open the face by a degree and a half. Meanwhile, increasing loft will close the face. So the higher setting will close the face by three degrees, while increasing loft by roughly one degree will close the face by 1.5 degrees. Plus the upright setting allows you to play the driver at its stated loft but with a lie angle three degrees higher than standard. This setting also keeps the face angle neutral. The chart shown on screen here lays out how each of the eight settings will impact estimated loft, lie angle, and face angle. Now let's go over making some actual adjustments to your Mizuno driver. Here I've got an STZ220 and it's currently in the stated loft position. However, I'm going to increase that loft by one degree while also closing the face by 1.5 degrees. So I'm gonna move it up one degree in loft, closer to the higher setting, but not all the way there. So to do that first, uh, you gotta take your wrench, insert it into the screw, and you will rotate counterclockwise to loosen. And then eventually you'll be able to take the club head right off. Now the next piece is identifying the setting that you need on the hosel. So for me, I'm going plus one in loft. So I'm rotating for me just one notch to the right here. Now I place the club head back onto the hosel sleeve and notice I make sure that my arrow here underneath the loft on the club head is matched up with the mark on the hosel. Once it is, I'll reinsert the wrench into the screw and rotate clockwise and this will tighten it all the way until it clicks. Now your driver is updated with a new setting and ready to hit some tee shots. With this information, hopefully you can get yourself dialed in with your Mizuno driver or fairy wood, ultimately shooting some lower scores. If you have any questions, make sure you contact our award-winning fitters, both online or in the store. We'll be able to help you out and make sure that club is dialed in for your unique swing. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.